Hey guys, what's up? It's Freak playing some more Phasmophobia. This time we're going into Grafton Farmhouse on Professional. I don't know what, what uh, you know, if I have anything in mind, um, challenge-wise or anything like that, anything like that. Um, but I am gonna try and get everything done, whiteboard and everything. All right, walk through salt, EMF reader, smudge sticks. All right. Uh, I'm also gonna try and, uh, unlike the last time I was in Bloodstale Farmhouse, I am going to try and find the bone. I think that's kind of gonna be my challenge, just get a piece of evidence for everything. Get all the objectives done, figure out the ghost, uh, photos, bone, uh, I don't know, I'm not sure how the insurance works, so that's gonna be kind of iffy, but we're gonna see if we can see how, mi how much we can find and be done. Uh, now, we're, Grafton Farmhouse might be my favorite slash least favorite house. <laughs> I think it's the creepiest, I think it's because all the rooms are so big. Wow. Wow, all right. <laughs> uh, all the rooms are so big, you can't just put crucifixes down to stop hunts. And when the, a hunt does occur, you have to go so far to try it and hide from it that it just is very creepy. Very, very creepy, in my opinion. But, oh, oh it's 10 degrees right there. 11. Where are you? Yep, right here. I've gotten quite a few ghosts right in this area. <sighs> Very distinct footprint right there. That's different there. No EMF though. And it sucks when it's in this room though, because. The crucifixes, the crucifix placement, you know, the crucifixes are only three, uh, three radius, so six diameter, uh, circles, and you can only have two. Six diameter, uh, six meter diameter, meters, it's all meters, isn't as big as you might think it is. It really isn't. Uh, I'm gonna get salt in there to get one of those challenges done. Uh, so, and it, so it's... Even in a regular sized room, like even in one of the bedrooms, it can be really hard to prevent a, a hunt. But when it's in the living room, ooh, it can be so difficult. Where are you? Where are you? Hey, okay. So we have two pieces of evidence right away I don't know if you guys caught that but it's freezing temps as well I think I want to get like a foot some salt just all along here and that should make it uh, so we can get that done I've been super super lucky with giving with getting two pieces of evidence straight away today it happened last round too so it's very very lucky and it gives us more time to um, determine what type of ghost it is and find other stuff it's a spirit box freezing temp so it's either wraith mare or demon um, mare what's mare I know demon is is a ghost book Mare is ghost orb, and then Wraith is, I know what Wraith is. Uh, so, fortunately we have to set up two of these, which kind of sucks. I, actually, let's, uh, let's get it on here. I like getting a camera, just like in here, facing the entire living room. It's typically what I like to do when I get a ghost in the living room family room whatever you guys want to call it that's what I like to do and then if 
if need be, I will put another one in that back corner facing this way. But getting it here, ghost book here, love to get an EMF hit because that's one of the objectives. I was fiddling with this. Nothing. Wow, that's surprising that I haven't gotten that yet. It's all right, it's all right. Reminder is professional, so I could get hunted at any time. Any time. And I didn't turn the light off. <laughs> um, smudge sticks, that's right. That's right. Alright, let's get another thing of salt in there. I There's no point in looking at orbs because I forgot to turn off the light, so that would just be a waste of time looking at the, uh, looking at the screen. I want to get the salt in here to get another... You know, potential for footsteps. That's my thought process. I'm gonna go there, there, and there. I think they should add rocking chairs moving. I think that would be an amazing addition to this game. Still no EMF hits, which is very surprising. I feel like it should have hit by now and turn that light off too just so it doesn't obscure our camera and now we'll take a look at the camera Ooh, is that we got a footstep in the salt I think yep footstep in the salt done we got the uh, the book bug so we can't see you can see there's that that salt there can't see if anything's in the book unfortunately um, I, actually, I'm gonna take another crucifix in. Even though they're kind of useless in a big room, I still like getting them down because it lowers the chance of of a hunt in the area. So we also need to get another. think it's gonna be fingerprints at least not yet from what we've discovered so far it doesn't seem like that's what it'll be still no EMF hits that's very surprising that's very very surprising all right uh, let's get a camera what else do we need do we need anything else, or is it just photos now and then getting that last piece of evidence? Oh, smudge sticks, that's correct. Smudge sticks. Let's just get in there and smudge it right now. Uh, because smudge sticking requires two hands. Two item slots, I should say. Let's just smudge it right now. on the EMF that's very surprising to me that's it's never usually EMF is one of the first things that you at least get a level 2 EMF a, a, um, hit on because it means that something's there you know what I mean uh, it means that the entity has either touched it played with it or oh shit I didn't get smudge stick is it not in the room right now So if we turn it off, we can kind of see the book. Ooh, that's not good. That is not good. I was really hoping that would that would get done. Do mares roam? Which ones like to roam? Because it seems like it it must be roaming, huh? Get a picture, then pick it up. I believe the picture gives it more. It hasn't gone through there yet. Uh, it here? It 
could be a raid. Ooh, we haven't opened that door. We have not opened this door. Okay, 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 okay. Make sure you leave that in here. I know I'm talking a lot, I'm rambling, but this game can really still nothing. Let's check. Breaker. It hit the breaker. I don't know where the breaker is either. Kind of being stubborn, being a bit stubborn. All right, so the breaker must be upstairs in the attic. Oh man, it's you can hear it in there. It's it's moving stuff and fiddling around and shit. But it's not it's not giving me an EMF hit. I don't know if the EMF reader is bugged or something, but. Sammy's at 61. Let's take some pills. Let's just take some pills. Get these in here. Uh, we haven't really been looking for ghost orbs, have we? I don't think it's... I, I have a feeling it's going to be a demon. I do. That's kind of my initial thought, which would be ghost writing. I'm just, I'm just waiting and looking for ghost orbs. It could be a mare. Oh, man. It could be a wraith too, though. It's it's hard to tell. It is really hard to tell. Because these ones are all so, so sim similar. I don't actually. I don't think it's gonna be a wraith because we've tracked it with footprints quite a bit. Which I don't think. I don't think you can. Well, if it's a wraith, I think you can, but it's, I think it's more rare, and we've had it step on three of the salts. So I don't think it's going to be a wraith. Because wraiths are rarely tracked by footprints. So I don't think it's a wraith. I really don't. Uh, I'm getting demon vibes. I'm getting demon vibes, but it could also be a mare. And it, I can't completely rule out wraith, but... I don't think it is because of the salt. Should we just go get the... Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, where is it? Those are the only places I know of that it can... Be. No, it's not. No, I know where it is. Okay, okay, okay. Let's uh drop that, pick this up. So open that door as well. Might be a wraith. Might be. Is it this room? Yeah. Smudge. 
still need to get a hit on this. We haven't yet, which sucks. <gasps> I was hoping I could get an EMF reading on that, but it didn't do it. Shit. <gasps> oh, no, no, no. Okay. Okay. Boom, right there. Thank you. Oh, that's so fucking creepy. It's not hunting, though. Which is kind of weird. break holy shit all right let's read what the mayor does because I don't really know I feel like demon would have hunted unless it's trying to hunt and just not being successful just hit the lights I really I still can't rule out anything I'm doing that to check the book. All right, let's let's read what. Almost never touch the ground mean it can't be tracked by footprints by foot. Oh, footsteps. I don't think it's a wraith. I don't think it's a wraith. The mare will have an increased chance to attack in the dark. Turning the lights on around the mare will lower its chance to attack. It's ghost orb. And then demon. Demons will attack more often than any other ghost. Hmm. See, I've been in the dark quite a bit. And it doesn't seem to be attacking. My, my sanity is pretty good still. I have a feeling it's a demon. That's just my gut instinct that it's a demon. Uh, let's grab this. Let's get another uh, camera in there though. Facing this way, just just to uh, get another angle or view on this on the room, just to make sure it's not ghost orbs. Cause ghost orbs, they could be like right in here, where I'm having a hard time seeing. All right. That's not fucking cool. That is not fucking cool. <sighs> that freaked me out because if you guys don't know, it closes the door, that front door, and locks it when it's hunting. So I heard the door close, and I thought maybe it was trying to hunt me. Now I'm doing this, so I have to go get the UV light. I have to check. Get out of this one alive, <sighs> or at least not. <laughs> at the very least, we won't figure out what type of ghost it is unless we do a Hail Mary type guess. But wow, <sighs> see, now I'm getting Wraith vibes. 
with how much is playing with stuff like it it's potential that it could be there could be fingerprints in there now but the the thing with the wraith is we've gotten a lot of footsteps almost except in almost every single piece of salt so to me it can't be a wraith so it's either between a bear ooh, apologies guys or a demon Alright, you guys, we're gonna go in there. That first camera we had set up. I'm gonna fucking work with this, but that first camera we had set up, we're gonna try and move to the opposite end. I wanna keep this one here because it's got a good view. And it's been like roaming into here. We're gonna move this one over here. Try and get it here, facing kind of this way. Let's go back. <laughs> oh man, this is creeping me out. Like I said, this is the creep, probably the creepiest uh, location for me. Purely because anywhere, if you get hunted, there's nowhere really good to go to try and hide. Because everything's so big like, there's so many there's very few rooms and they're all really uh really really big so it's hard to it's hard to uh hide or get to a place to hide I should say I'd also like to get a camera onto that book because I can't now that I move this I can't see the book very well let's also take another set of pills I have a feeling that it's a demon and it's not hunting because my sanity is good enough for it to not hunt that's kind of what my my gut feeling is here Turn off my flashlight because it's easier to uh, see fingerprints. Just more clear. Alright. Alright, let's go check and see how well that camera placement is. I am willing to rule out Wraith, I think, at this point, because for the amount of lights it's hit and everything like that, I just don't think it could be a Wraith um, and not have fingerprints. You know what I mean? So I'm willing to rule out Wraith. I also feel like I would have gotten a ghost orb, 
by now. I really do. Is that? I thought I saw something up here. I really am getting demon vibes. I am. Whoa. You guys see that? That's fucking creepy. It's pretty rare that you actually see it close a door or something on camera or in person. Like, you'll hear doors open and close all the time, but when you see it, it's totally different. It's so creepy. in this book you're writing the book for me So I just took random pictures there because uh, you, if you look in, if you take a picture of fingerprints, it goes in the book, and it should also count as evidence, but it doesn't look like, and that's, I took pictures of all this stuff because it seemed like those were the most active kind of places it was, it was going. You know, it was hitting this light switch quite a bit. Not this one too much, but like these doors and stuff. Maybe I'm too far away if there are fingerprints there, but... To me, that kind of like confirms it's not... Not a wraith. Man, this one's being pretty stubborn though. Pretty stubborn. Did it turn on a light in there? It turned on a light in there. Wow. I honestly am getting demon vibes. And it's just being stubborn with the book. I think it's because my, my sanity is too high for it to be... A, for a demon to like... To kind of... Interact. Like he wants it to be lower, I, th I think. I'm not 100% I'm not but... We're not getting fingerprints, we're not getting uh, spirit orbs, so I think we're going to go with demon on this. Uh, just because it's, it is being very, it's being really stubborn. I've, I've gotten a picture of the ghost, the bone, I've gotten a picture of pretty much everything I can, I feel like. But I just can't get that last piece of evidence. On everything else done, and I'm really, I'm really feeling demon vibes. We can try and go in one more time. Yeah, let's try and go in one more time, I guess. Might regret this. See, I just, 
I hope my th my thought process makes sense. Like, my thought process is the only other one that I feel like it could be other than the demon, because I haven't been getting ghost orbs. I haven't been getting ghost orbs or fingerprints, and it hasn't written in the book. I don't think I'm gonna get fingerprints, even though it's it's playing with a lot of stuff. Is because wraiths don't really leave footprints and we've gotten a lot of salt footprints a lot uh perhaps more than i ever have on a round before so to me that's a hard no on wraith you know because i've they rarely leave footprints i don't know if that means the green footprints with the uv light or footprint sounds or the salt and I just, I feel like it would be rare in the salt as well. I, I think it, you know, obviously it can leave footprints in the salt, but to step in almost everything, every uh, piece of salt that we've put down, to me is a no on the wraith. Uh, the mare, I feel like I would have seen ghost doors by now. I really do. I really, really do. So... And to me, it's just a demon. I feel like demons love to to screw with you. They love to screw with you until your sanity gets to a point where they just chain hunt you. You know, they screw with you, screw with you, screw with you, and then they chain hunt. Whereas Mare, I feel like, oh, it's dark, I'm going to hunt. It's not necessarily a much of a buildup, maybe. I'm not super experienced with this game, so I, I could definitely be wrong, but... I feel like demons definitely love to screw with you before they start hunting. So I am going to go with demon. I think that's what I have locked in. Yep. Because I had no luck finding any evidence. That last piece of evidence. So we're going to go with demon. I don't want this to be too, too long. Let me know what you guys think it is in the in the comments. Pause it right now. Don't Please don't cheat. What do you guys think it is? Do you think it's a demon, wraith, or mare? We have two pieces of evidence. That's my thought process, and boom, it is a demon. Wow, I think, I think I'm right on that. Where demons, they love to screw with you. They love to, to kind of freak you out, and they they kind of. I feel like they have the most wide range. Demons and spirits, I feel like, have the most wide range of behaviors when it comes to they they can appear to be another type of ghost very easily until you find that last piece of evidence or until it starts chain hunting you you know stuff like that uh but until until you really figure it out they have like i feel like they have those two have the what the widest variety of behaviors that they can portray that's why it's super hard to figure out what type of demon this was in it it was not a shy demon it was very active. It was just a stubborn demon. Didn't hunt. Or maybe it did, but a, cru a crucifix could have prevented it. But it was just very stubborn in giving us evidence. But it was very, very active. It loved to... Like I said, it, it wanted to mess with us. It was definitely messing with us. And trying to get our sanity low enough for it to just chain hunt. Uh, and I, I think that's kind of, you know, demons do that more often than any other ghost, I feel like. So, that's kind of where, where my thought process is. Um, let me know if you guys, let me know if, if you paused it and before you saw this, were you guys correct? Uh, did you think it was something else? Uh, or what, uh, and what other behaviors have you guys picked up on that I maybe haven't? that you guys want to share with me that maybe could make it easier to identify these these ghosts but yeah, that was uh was that grafton farmhouse on professional we got like i like i wanted to we got everything done we got money for every single thing which is awesome 220 dollars which is absolutely insane i feel like that might be one of the highest i've ever gotten for a job yeah i hope you guys enjoyed uh in the description are my socials, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. I'm working on a Discord for you guys. Uh, 
so you guys can just join and chat on there but I need to uh, tinker with it a bit more I'm not really good with discord at the moment so I just gotta you know do a little bit more research on it and stuff and then I'll let you guys know when that's when that's all set and I've got some plans uh, gonna be trying to work some stuff out uh, playing different types of games with friends and duos stuff like that so I hope you guys uh, like everything that I'm doing uh, so please leave a like comment and subscribe and uh, yeah let me know what you guys think of this game of a game that I should be playing challenge anything like that and let me know and I'll catch you guys in the next one take care